everyone! Welcome back to Minecraft. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. If not, I hope this video makes your day a little bit better. In this video, we're going to be mining for that sweet ancient debris. I want to get some netherite tools and netherite armor. It will be quite the task, but I'm sure we can get it done. We're just going to need a lot of TNT because I don't want to use beds. Beds are very risky to use. Without further ado, I need to go put my stuff in the chest in my basement first so I can grab some gunpowder. All right, now that it's sorted out, I want to show you guys something. Look, we got torch, torches lighting up the place without having to place it down. Isn't that neat? I don't even need to use Fulbright, and this this is actually pretty cool. I might not have to use Fulbright for the rest of this, because I think that's kind of a cheating way of playing the game because I thought long and hard about that because if you're not gonna I mean it's kind of pointless to use it anyways because you don't want mob spawning and you just forget to place on torches our new house is looking very very nice if I have to admit there could be a few touch-ups around here and there but honestly it's still a good thing and I'm glad that I built this the way it was because the way I was going at it with at first was going to be pretty ugly. And I was not going to accept the fact that it was going to be ugly. But like I was saying, let's go get some gunpowder from the mob farm. Right, like, so let's grab a lot of this gunpowder. We have quite a bit, actually. Okay, yeah, quite a bit still. St two stacks and three gunpowder. Not that bad. wonder if I have any sand in the basement. Wait, no, I do have sand. Shulker boxes. Yes, those exist. There we go. Grab two stacks of sand. And let's do TNT because I don't feel like placing it myself. 26 TNT. That should be good for now. And I'm going to sleep so I don't have to encounter any mobs. And I'm pretty sure I'm ready to make netherite armor because I have everything I wanted on these uh, pieces of armor. Besides, my helmet can't go any higher with enchantments because it's too high of a level. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. That it has like a cap on how much XP you can spend. If th this is meant to be a sandbox game, not a limiting game. You're supposed to do whatever you want, not supposed to like be limited to enchantments. Well, to XP levels. But yeah, let's go over here to the nether and get ourselves set up. I do have flint steel, by the way, so that's pretty good. I'm glad I had a flint steel because I did not check at first. And let's head down into the nether from the roof, if I can remember my way down. I think, yeah, here we go. Here we go. And we have nether waste right over here. This is the biome we want. I really don't want to encounter lava though, so we're gonna have to like go as far as we can down. And doing this by a lava lake will not be great. With this caves and cliffs update, it's kind of hard to find a flat area in the nether. Oh, we got a ruined portal over here though. Might have to grab some gold and trade for some... Ooh, golden carrots? Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have any gold on. I was gonna say that we're gonna trade for some like fire resistance potions, but actually, I could just make some at home. So let's do that, actually. I'm gonna... I should have thought about this first. I really don't like flying around in the nether. I think I know my way back. Maybe. If not, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I might actually be lost. Wait. N no. I can't tell anymore. Oh, I'm not lost. I found my old portal. There we go. Now we just climb back up. Actually, I, I should mine this obsidian on the portal because we have no use for this one right here you know what i don't think we actually ever grabbed nether wart so we do have a reason to stay in here so i i know i'm going all over the place but like we have a legitimate reason to stay in here we gotta find a nether fortress that isn't a giant rectangle or maybe a bastion this might oh yeah it does have nether wart at the bottom that's perfect this will be a quick trip in and out grabbing some nether wart out of here Goodbye. Just, uh, see you never. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Okay, I think I actually lost my way back. Okay, I just used my last rocket. Oh, fun. I don't, I don't have any more rockets on me. Well, this is going to be an interesting experience. Because we're going to go to X-47. I should probably barricade myself in here. I don't like being in the nether. It's scary. Negative 26, negative 47... I gotta remember that. Hopefully I'm heading the right direction. I should be. Uh, we overshot the x-coordinate a little bit. But I'm going to build a tower like so. And fly off of it. Hopefully not landing in lava. I'm gonna try to attempt to make it over to that soul sand valley to collect some soul sand. 
I think we're actually, yeah, we're pretty close to our portal location. So let's not get hit by this ghast. And I don't have any arrows. And yet this bow has infinity on it. Oh, come on, gas. I hate gas so much, though. Okay, that should be enough uh, nether wart. Can I just kill this gas? Bro, this gas is not even trying right now. Oh, great, another gas bond. That's what I need right now. I'm gonna tower up, risking my life here, and glide. Here we go. Okay, I think those gas- oh, no, the gas is still there, but one of them despawned, though. One of them did. I believe we need some magma cream as well. So might as well get that while we're here. Come here, magma cube. Let me kill you. Okay, we have enough magma cream now. I believe that's how you make a fire resistance potion. He's using magma cream. Oh great, we have a bunch of piglins after us now. Because we're not wearing gold. But luckily they have crossbows, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. Yep, and we are coming close to our portal here. I just hope I'm not gonna die. If I was in hardcore, I would have died already. Most likely. Pretty soon, we're gonna have to make another highway. That'll be a nice little thing to have in this world. Make traveling easier. Most importantly, connecting to the end. Because we want a nice little short path to the stronghold. I'm so glad that I have Feather Falling 4 on my boots. Such a nice thing to have. I'm thinking about upgrading the piglin farm to produce XP instead of just gold. And I have a reasonable design I design plan for the thing. It shouldn't be that hard, honestly. It's going to be very time-consuming and resource-intensive. Also, sorry guys for not uploading a video on Saturday. I was actually very busy in life. But, and I posted something on my Discord, but if you guys didn't see that, because you're not in my Discord server, join that. It's going to be in the description below of the video. But yeah, you'll get most of your updates there, because I'm not at 1,000 subscribers, and I don't have the community tab. But yay, I have an arrow, because I just killed a skeleton. Now fear my bow! But yeah, I'm probably gonna AFK at my farm for a little bit to get gunpowder, and then when I have enough gunpowder to make rockets, I will update you guys. Also, I want to actually trap this Enderman in a boat before I do anything. And leave your suggestions for names in the comments. So I AFK'd for about 12 minutes, and I should probably go sleep, but we should check the mob farm and see what we got. Okay, we got no gunpowder yet. Okay, two gunpowder and five gunpowder. Okay, well, uh, that's not bad though. It's all right. We can just go kill some creepers, I guess, because we got looting on a sword. I have no idea where this witch is. I hope it's not in my mob farm because, yeah, I really don't want a witch stuck up in there. It looks like the melon farm is overflowing a little bit. Oh, geez, we got a lot of melons and pumpkins in there. But hey, we got our first victim right here. Come here, creeper. Die. Yes, we got more gunpowder. Fun. But I'm going to go on a creeper killing spree. Alright, here we go. We can make a little bit of fireworks. I don't know if it's much, but it'll probably help us last for a little while. Next thing I'm going to do is create a little soul sand nether wart farm. I don't know why I said it like that, but... Yeah, let's do that. Now let's brew up. Actually, okay. I have two splash potions of weakness. That is not what I want. I want some normal looking potions. Probably don't need these instant health potions just yet, so we can just drink them. Alright, now I need some water for the potions. Alright, let's put these potions inside the brewing stand. Put some nether wart in that and wait for it to brew. There we go, and now we can put our magma cream in here. Hopefully that will make a fire resistance potion. It makes sense if it does. And sir, why are you go like why are you bumping into my face? What what are you doing? I don't appreciate it. Go away. Leave. Leave okay, you're not leaving. But now we got some potions of fire resistance, and I think we can boost that by putting some redstone in there. Let's test it real quick. I hope it will boost the potions time on it. I don't know. But we will see, I guess. Oh yeah, correct. We got eight minutes now. That's all we need. I hear a skeleton somewhere and I don't know where it is. It's definitely not in my base. But now it is time to go netherite mining. Let's go to the nether portal and head into the nether for the second time. Okay, here we go. Flying down here. Gotta get to the lowest point of the nether. Don't know where that is. 
You know what? Right over here will probably be excellent. Probably I'm gonna dig down to Y15. That's the sweet spot for netherite, apparently. I'm gonna pop this fire resistance potion so we don't burn up into a crisp. Just in case if lava comes and kills us. Tries to kill us, at least. Why can't I move? Why is there... Oh, invisible blocks. Nice. Okay. We are at Y15. Now we want to mine a straight tunnel across here. Ignoring all the quartz. Because I don't need that right now. You know what? Actually, I could probably just heal my shovel. But we want to be in another waste biome. Because it's beneficial for ancient debris mining. We're going to need to collect 36 ancient debris to get a full set of netherite tools. You think this tunnel is long enough? Yeah, I think so. So let's play some TNT. Don't need it my shield right now. I'm gonna place it two blocks, like two blocks away from each other, spaced out. And efficiency is gonna get in the way, of course. Okay, I placed all my TNT down. I hope we get lucky with this. If not, well, then I don't know what I'm going to do, but let's light it up and wait for the explosion. Here we go. Okay. TNT did not blow up that much. That's all right. Yet we didn't encounter any lava, which is really nice for this. We might have to resort to strip mining eventually, but I don't see any ancient debris in here, which is kind of unfortunate. But we might unveil some if we just keep blowing up stuff. Okay, nothing yet. Next piece of TNT. Still nothing. I think we just might be in an unlucky area. Well, there's some lava and ancient debris right there. One ancient debris. Well, that's better than nothing. Oh man, that's nice. That is very nice. Make sure our inventory is clear. Delete this netherrack and mine that nice ancient debris right there. I'm gonna patch up the lava. There we go. I'm gonna keep bridging across until we find some more. Maybe that lava will uncover some ancient debris. No, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Just gotta keep blowing up this TNT. We're almost at the end though. Kinda sucks. Okay, I don't know if we uncovered any more ancient debris in here. The explosion was big enough, but like, we're just unlucky. Make sure to cover up all the lava so you don't miss any debris. Okay, yeah, there's nothing in here. Might have to resort to strip mining then. Might be an efficient way of getting this stuff, as I do not see any more in here. Now let's start strip mining, I guess. I'm probably gonna mine all this gravel out just in case if any ancient debris is hiding underneath it. As you never know, it might be just lava actually. And my fire resistance potion is wearing out, so I'm gonna drink another one. Yeah, I don't think there's anything under this uh, under this gravel. Finding ancient debris is pretty hard work, honestly, but we will eventually get the job done. Oh, we found another piece of ancient debris. Hopefully it's two. No, it's only one. Oh well, that's unfortunate, but we got two ancient debris now. Okay, this is a biome you do not want to encounter. There's a soul sand valley mixing with a... Well, going into a... Basalt Delta. Yeah, you don't want to go in here. This is a place for... All this just basalt and nothing ancient debris related. So head back. Do not go in there. Instead, branch off into a different section. And also make sure you have mending on your tools because quartz will help you out a lot. I'm sure you'll have mending on your tools at this point, though. It seems like we are hitting roadblocks, so we're gonna have to turn back and start a whole entire new section. Another ancient debris? Another ancient debris. Another cinnamon roll, I mean ancient debris. Yeah, another ancient debris. Another one as well, right uh, above it. Haha, <laughs> let's go, we got two. Eighth ancient debris. Another tasty cinnamon roll. 25 more ancient debris to collect. Another to the collection. 16 more ancient debris to go. We've been at it for about 20 minutes already. Oh man, we just hit 30 ancient debris. We just need six more. I've been at this for an hour now. Oh man, this is stuff is so hard to find. And behold, the last ancient debris we need to mine. 
We have 36 ancient debris now. That took such a long time to mine, and I'm so happy that we got all of it now. It's better than now than later, so I don't have to go later. And I'm not going to be mining for ancient debris ever again. Oh my gosh. I might be, I mean, I might be incorrect because I have a silk touch pickaxe, but I'm not going to go for that right now immediately. But oh my goodness. I can't wait to go and upgrade all my tools and armor. We're going to be so decked out. It's going to be awesome. Now, let's head back to base. And I have a long journey ahead of me back to base because I dug out maybe like miles of blocks. I don't know. But I'm pretty far away from the base. Well, the portal. My portal is in the negatives and I'm in the positives right now. That's not very good. It looks like we have some zombie piglins spawning over here. Interesting. And I was lucky enough to find my staircase up without getting lost. That didn't take too long. Now let's head back. Now we are back in the overworld. We can get rid of this netherrack that we're not going to use ever. It's just going to clog up our storage. But we're back in home sweet home and I'm not looking at red constantly. Here we go. Split up this ancient debris and put it inside the furnaces. And then we wait for this all to smelt down. It looks like we might not have enough gold. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to go mining, I guess. That should pass the time, though. Well, while we're smelting up some ancient debris. Well, the ancient debris is now smelted up into netherite scrap. Now we grab some of that. And now we start smelting some of our gold. Well, I just found out that I had two ancient debris in my ore chest. I didn't have to get the last two ancient debris. Oh my gosh, I am so smart. Oh my gosh. Now we grab our gold right here. Take off all of our armor. And here we go. Upgrade that. Oh, actually, wait. No, we need to craft the uh, netherite first. I am big brain. There we go. Nine netherite ingots. Just enough for a full block. Here we go. Chest plate. Leggings. Boots. And helmet. There we go. Cover me in debris. Got a full set of netherite armor now. Now we gotta upgrade our tools. Netherite sword. Netherite pickaxe. Netherite shovel. And netherite axe. Now just one more thing. One more thing needs to be enchanted. Well, not enchanted, but turned into ancient debris. I mean netherite. What am I talking about? You guessed it. A diamond hoe. Just to get the advancement. Serious dedication. And here we are with our full netherite tools and armor. We are looking very snazzy in this armor. The best armor in the game. We are just too powerful now. Oh man. The next thing we need to do is fight the wither. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Now, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.